Hey, this is Naomi from TaskTop. Today I'm going to show you how TaskTop integrates ServiceNow, Jira, and MicroFocus ALM, formerly HP ALM, to maximize productivity for support engineers, developers, and testers, with the benefit of having a completely visible and traceable defect reporting and resolution process. TaskTop gives every single IT practitioner the information they need, when they need it, in the tool they love. I'm going to walk you through a common scenario of resolving a defect opened by a support engineer. The tools in our example are ServiceNow, an IT service management tool, Jira, an agile planning tool, and MicroFocus ALM, a test management tool. TaskTop supports many other tools in the IT tool chain, so even if you don't use this precise tool combo, you'll still find this video useful. You can see those three tools we'll be using in our demo right here in TaskTop Landscape View, and you can see that what flows between them in our scenario are defects. Before we jump into the tools themselves so we can see each practitioner's experience, I'll tell you real quick what we're going to do today in the demo. In our demo, a support engineer opens a problem in ServiceNow. TaskTop will flow the problem to Jira, where it will be automatically assigned to the developer as a bug. When the developer indicates the new code is ready for testing, TaskTop will flow the bug over to the tester in MicroFocus ALM as a defect. When testing is complete, it will become done in Jira and assigned to a release. Support Engineer in ServiceNow will be able to see all these statuses in real time and will have the information she needs to communicate on this issue with her customer. During the demo, I'll show you how the fields, statuses, comments, and attachments all flow from tool to tool seamlessly to help eliminate duplicate data entry, email exchanges, and status meetings. So let's get started. Starting in ServiceNow, the Support Engineer creates a problem. The problem is that customers can't change their passwords on the website. She sets the priority as critical, types in a short description and a longer description, and submits the problem. The problem was created, and you can see that some information in these columns is still missing, but that information will get filled in as the work on this problem takes place in other tools. So let's see what happens in JIRA. The problem automatically appears on the developer's Kanban board in the to-do state. The problem came in with the description and information entered in ServiceNow all mapped to the appropriate field in JIRA. For example, the critical priority in ServiceNow set the priority in JIRA to highest priority. The developer picks this bug up and moves it to in progress. While working on it, he attaches a document and some screenshots to the bug. He also updates the description to specify that this issue is only on Firefox browsers, and he changes the priority to medium. When he's done the work, he adds a comment to say the bug is ready for testing. He moves the item to ready for testing. If we quickly switch back to ServiceNow, we'll see that a few fields were populated. We now see the priority got changed to three moderate. The development status is in progress, and the Alt ID displays the bug ID in JIRA, and you also have a link to the bug in JIRA. The support engineer can also see the comments the developer added, where he wrote that the code was deployed to the test environment for validation. So let's switch over to see what's happening in MicroFocus ALM. The defect shows up with the relevant information to perform the tests, the priority, the description, the comments, and the attachments. The tester will run the tests and changes the status to fixed. She can add a comment that the fix is validated for the release. Back in JIRA, because the tester changed the status to fixed, the bug has moved to dev done. You can see the comments from the tester. The developer goes ahead and adds this item to the hotfix. Back in ServiceNow, the support engineer can now see the development status has changed to done, and that the fix will be available in the hotfix. If you hover your mouse over the work notes, you'll see all the comments made in both JIRA and MicroFocus ALM. Our three practitioners worked seamlessly with each other, never having to leave their tool of choice, never having to copy and paste information, and never having to send an email. 
Once you have a fully linked and traceable process for handling problems using TaskTop, you can actually create some extremely useful metrics around MTTR. Not only how long does it take to resolve a problem, but why? How long did the problem wait in a queue at each stage? How long was it actually worked on? If you have the data and can measure these things, you can also figure out ways to improve. The beauty of TaskTop is that it flows artifacts and automates handoffs across your entire tool chain, so you can accelerate delivery and respond faster to your customers. And it's easy. TaskTop has a friendly, entirely graphical interface where you can figure the integrations with surgical precision. For example, here, if we drill into our ServiceNow to Jira integration, you'll see we are mapping problems in ServiceNow to bugs in Jira with data normalized through a common defect model. You can see how the fields flow between these two repositories. For example, the short description in ServiceNow maps to the summary field in Jira, and the field update can happen both ways. Unlike status, which is a field that flows from ServiceNow to Jira, but cannot flow back, only the support engineer in ServiceNow can update the status. That was just a short look at TaskTop Integration Hub. We've got lots more to share with you. Learn more about how TaskTop can help you get work done in IT at www.tastop.com.